Hello and welcome to another tutorial in the next five or six minutes I'm going to quickly show you how to get your flight route onto your Avitab. I'm going to use the Zebo as my base and its facilities with the Avitab and then uh, you guys can uh, obviously use it on any other um, aircraft that's fitted with the Avitab or you can go one step further and you can use it from the drop down menu and just use it everywhere even if it's not fitted in your aircraft so there's no limitation uh, you need the Avitab obviously you need a valid route and then you need this little program it is called a little nav map it is free of charge you guys can download it from the link in the description below the video if you do not have it uh, there is a setup process I'm not going to cover the actual setup process of this uh, little nav map program in this video there are plenty of other videos and resources available for that uh, but uh, once it's up and running like I said all you need is a valid route so I'm going to simply copy the route from my Navigraph desktop charts uh, our first step will be flight plan click on flight plan at the top then go to new flight plan from a route description we're going to use the from a clipboard paste facility so we're pasting the flight plan in there then we need to streamline it we need to take out our uh, runway designators and any other designator that is um, associated with the actual airport we only want the airport ICAO on both sides you can have a set of star and the whole route in between but uh, the ICAOs need to be standalone once that is done uh, we're going to uh, read the route description by clicking this button over here as you can see there is no red warnings if there was any issue with it let me actually show you let's just go for something like that and we click on read read the uh, description you'll see there is a problem so we need to take that away again just have the ICAO both sides flight plan set star in the middle if you want uh, a set star as well um, then you cl click on create flight plan at the bottom this creates the flight plan in little nav map you then go to the map and for best effects I um, would recommend go full screen all you need to do now is to get the correct zoom level and put the picture in a position where you like it so putting it somewhere here in the middle the last step now for us in this program is to export this uh, picture with its JSON file so what happens is we go down after clicking on file at the top we go down to save the map as image for Avitab it's a function that is built into this program so you just have to find it click it and uh, you can click on OK this program will automatically find your first explain installation folder as well as the Avitab plugin folder so at the top here you can see it goes explain 11 resources plugins avitab map tiles and mercator is our final folder this is uh, where it resides all right so i already have one i don't mind i'm just going to overwrite this uh, png file with the one from uh, little nav map right now uh, what you do not see is the json file behind the scenes obviously and i'll show that to you just now because you obviously want a moving aircraft on the map and that um, uh, you need that file for so we click on save we're going to replace it and then we're going to look at the folder there we go there is the PNG that we have just saved and there is our JSON that uh, the file that gives us the added functionality in Avitab in order for us to now go and uh, read this in Avitab I'm just moving everything out of the way quickly we can now go to the Avitab we go to map we click on the menu button at the top Mercator button and then all we need to do is scroll down you can see all my others are lying there until we find the actual file that we want and now it's up to us to position it the way we want it or we can simply click the follow me button and there you go you have a moving map with your flight plan in the Avitab and that is how easy it is guys I hope you enjoy it and uh, thank you for watching we'll talk again soon